What's up, everyone? Nate Sarantino here, back with another episode of the Guided Spirits Podcast. And today, we are going to talk about cutting out all your self-limiting bullshit beliefs, all the stupid things that you think are true that aren't true. And these can be as simple as, like, you think drinking Diet Coke is good for you, but you don't know that aspartame, the, like, sweet sweetener that's artificial in it is terrible and you're much better off getting a real coke that has like real sugar in it so but that's just the analogy for like any self-limiting belief or any limiting belief you need to see the bigger picture sometimes sometimes you have to step back and you have to understand that by thinking you can't do something, you are automatically setting yourself up for failure. I know for a fact that if I think I can't pass my organic chemistry test on Tuesday, I am not going to pass it. But if I go into this test thinking I'm going to kill it, and I'm going to do my very best, and you can think you're going to do good and still fail, but it all starts with believing in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, that is the first self-limiting belief you have to cut out. Believe in yourself. Believe in your own abilities. And if you think, oh, well, the reason I don't believe in my abilities is because I don't know how to do it or I don't know what I'm doing. Well, that's why I'm studying for this test right now. And I decided, well, I'm going to record this podcast episode because this needs to be shared. The effort and the amount of work you put into something is what you're going to get out of it. So if you're worried about something not going well, it's probably because you didn't put enough effort and you didn't put your best foot forward into that subject or into that area that you're trying to become better at. And this goes for, oh, I can't get myself a girlfriend because I am too ugly or I am out of shape or I can't help my, I don't even know. There's so many things like the basic idea of it is if you are looking at your own life and seeing reasons that you can't do something you have to step back and understand why you think you can't do that and then once you understand why you think that you can alter the way you think to change your perspective to i can become better at what i'm not good at i can become a better public speaker to make my podcast better i'm not uh, you're not always born with traits not everyone's a natural public speaker not everyone's a natural entrepreneur not everyone's a natural chemist these are all examples for myself now you can work on all your skills so you don't have these self-limiting beliefs thinking, oh, I'm never going to be able to do that. I'm not good enough. I'm just not going to be able to. It's Those are the worst ones. And the, a lot of people have that feeling like, I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm never going to be good enough. I'm this. It's not possible. And those literally are killers, like killers of dreams, killers of goals, killers of everything. They're killers of your own life, your own passion. Like, if you really want to do something, you should do it. And you should do it for you and nobody else. I love going to the gym. I do it for me and nobody else. My health, I love feeling good. I like to feel healthy. I like to look at my body. I don't care how good I look compared to someone else because it's how I look. And if I think I look good at 12% body fat, I'm going to keep myself there. If I think I look good at 20% body fat, I'm going to keep myself there. If I think I look good at 7, I'm going to keep myself there. It's all what you think you like and what you believe you like. 
And if you believe that you can't do something because of a self-limiting belief, such as thinking you're not good enough or thinking you don't have the capabilities or thinking no matter how much you do, you're not going to be able to do it, maybe you might need to step back and figure out, do I actually want to do this? Is it worth the effort to become better at this? Like, does my life depend on it? Does my career depend on it? Does my family depend on it? Who is depending on you? Is it you depending on you? Is it someone else depending on you? Those are the things that you have to ask yourself before you decide your beliefs and what you are going to, whether you are going to truly stop the bullshitting and actually focus on your goals and your dreams because if you are going to keep thinking you can't do something because of some whack idea like everything I've said before that is going to be the killer of your dream. And you're going to be on your deathbed at some point in your life. And you're going to wish that you had done more. You're going to wish that you have tried harder. Well, make that day that you wish today. And then make that wish come true tomorrow. Because when you wake up tomorrow, you are going to have a fresh start. And it's going to be the day that everything changes. It's going to be the day that you say, I can be better. I'm going to do better. It's not a matter of when. It's a matter of now. It's a matter of this moment. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to wake up and be grateful that I woke up. And I'm going to chase my dream and nobody's going to stop me. And I'm going to make that dream come true because I believe in myself more than anybody else. I believe that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And that will lead us to the next topic of becoming unstoppable in the next podcast. But for now, I want to end it with this. If there's anything to take away from this podcast, it is that self-limiting beliefs are killers. The best way to get rid of self-limiting beliefs is to step back, evaluate why you are doing the things you are doing, whether that be uh, drinking something, eating something, performing some kind of act in a relationship with other people or with yourself. It could be anything, but evaluate why you do the things you do, become a more conscious being, and then when you become more conscious, you're going to understand that you control your thoughts, your words become, your thoughts become those words, and those words become your actions, and if you move with positivity, it will make everything better be positive towards yourself thank you for listening please share this with anyone you think can benefit from it and continue to become unstoppable beings thank you